so I just can't really, I just, no. <laughs> Hi, my name is Julianne May. I'm an author. Today I have a book haul for you, a Christmas book haul. My hair is a little messy, I'm kind of bummy today, but I actually kind of have some good lighting, kind of a little bit. <laughs> For once, which is nice. I need to take advantage of that while I can. I wanted to kind of record this a couple days ago, but we've been having just like dreary dark weather here and I love the rain, but I also love good lighting and I don't have that in my apartment. So I have not recorded many videos here. So I, re I really don't know what I'm doing yet still as far as recording. I don't know how my setup works very well and I just haven't recorded much here. I've recorded the Christmas vlog and I've recorded some live updates and some of them weren't even here. I did some at work, so. But anyway, that's all besides the point. I got quite a few books for Christmas presents. Luckily for me, because I love books, I love reading. I also got a Kindle, so that's nice. But I'm gonna go over the books I got with you. First of all, Lauren Conrad's Sugar and Spice. I picked this out. My fiance got it for me, but I picked it out because I saw it and I was like, you know, you should get this for me for Christmas. But I have the first one in the series, I think, LA Candy. Yes, it's an LA Candy novel, so. I don't like starting series and not being able to finish them. So hopefully the first one is good and hopefully I'll like the second one, you know? Milk and Honey by Ruby Kaur. I'm really excited about this one. If you know poetry at all, you probably know about this book. If you know Target at all, if you ever walked into Target or a bookstore or anything, you probably have seen this book. And I've kind of read through it a little bit in the store, you know, so it sounded really good and I asked for this, so I'm excited to have it. Whiskey Words and the Shovel, which I think I might have also asked for. I think I did. I think so. But uh, I definitely have seen this and wanted it. And it comes with a fun little couple of bonus gifts that my brother got it for me. And he was like, no, I, I didn't put those in there. But I think it's really interesting because of the title too, Whiskey Words and a Shovel, that someone was going around and putting some Jesus cards in here, which I don't mind at all. I love me some Jesus, but I just thought it was funny considering the title. We have a couple Bible verses on here. This one also just has a quote. God will not permit any troubles to come upon us unless he has a specific plan by which great blessings thing can come out of the difficulty. That's Peter Marshall. I don't know who that is or why he deserves to be on this quote, but that's fine. It was a fine quote. And then there's Exodus and Hebrews and Psalms. Pillow Thoughts by Courtney Peppernell. I think this was another one that I asked for, but again, I don't really remember exactly all that I asked for, but another poetry book that I'm excited to read. And I noticed there's quite a theme these days in the coloring of poetry books black and white but it's cool and they're all really soft not just soft they're really soft so it's really nice and you know i'm very into poetry so i'm sure i'm gonna love reading all of these the chain smokers have a quote on this that is cool you know the band the chain smokers they sing closer you know with housey and sing stuff and you know as songwriters poetry has always placed a special played a special role in our lives. We discovered Pillow Thoughts and it has been one of the most enjoyable blah, 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 enjoyable books we have read in a long time. That's very impressive, that's very cool. Okay, I've been really excited about this book. I heard about it while she was getting ready to publish it. I follow her on Twitter, Louise Gornall, and I kind of reached out to her asking if I could get uh, an advanced reader's copy and that kind of didn't go anywhere, but I really have wanted to read it for a long time. This girl has agoraphobia. She's even scared of her cute new neighbor, Luke, but she's intrigued by him too. And so I'm really excited to read this. Kinda nervous too, if I'm to be honest, because I went through some really bad agoraphobia a couple years ago, and I didn't leave my house for a couple months, so I'm kinda nervous about this like triggering that. Hopefully it won't at all, hopefully it won't, and I'll just love the story. And then last but not least, my cousin Audie got me this book because I just got engaged. The Budget Savvy Wedding Planner and Organizer. My fiance and I have talked about the wedding and like what we wanna do for it. We wanna keep it simple, but I think this is still going to be very helpful. I should show you while I'm flipping through all these pages. It's a lot of information and a lot of like places to take notes and it just looks like a really good and useful thing. That's exciting. That is all the books that I have gotten over Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. If you got any cool and exciting books over Christmas that you want to comment about, go right ahead and tell me. If you got any of these books, you know, let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon, hopefully. I love you so much. Bye!